Welcome to the David Wong Entrepreneur Show. I'm David Wong, martial artist, entrepreneur, and peak performance innovator. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 signs that you are mentally stronger than other people. And hey, if you wanna get more entrepreneur tips, martial arts lessons, and ways to actualize your full potential, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the bell so you get all the latest videos coming out on a weekly basis. With that said, let's get on with the David Wong Show. Number 10 on the list, the sign that you are mentally stronger than other people is that you are polite. You have good manners, you open doors for people, pull out the chair for your girlfriend or your wife when she sits down. You just do things that are polite. It's okay to be polite. It doesn't mean that you're a wimp or a wuss. It means that you are actually mentally stronger than people. So learn to be polite, have good manners, and you're gonna get respect that you didn't have before. Number nine sign is that you show gratitude. You say, hey, thanks, or I really appreciate that. Even if it's something small or something that somebody's expected to do anyway, just say thanks anyway. Especially if you have employees or partners or friends that did a good job on a project or on a business plan or on a task, then you say, hey, you did a good job. Thank you so much for putting your effort in. Thank you, I appreciate you. I really appreciate your, your talent and what you did. Sign number eight that you're mentally stronger than other people is that you're open to new ideas. You're not closed-minded. You're not stubborn. You're open to criticism. You're open to what other people think. Having an open mind means that you're willing to learn, you're willing to expand beyond where you are mentally so that you can stretch yourself because we are all limited by our minds. So if we close our minds, if we're not open, then we're just limiting ourselves. Number seven is to learn from your mistakes. You don't dwell on your mistakes. You don't complain about them, but you just learn from them. You find out what did you not do effectively and then you just find out what you need to fix and then start doing it effectively. If you can see that your mistakes are opportunities to learn, then that shows that you're mentally stronger than other people. Hey, do you want to increase your mental strength? Do you want to be stronger from the inside out? Not just from the outside, being physically strong with big muscles, but actually be strong on the inside so that you can handle anything that comes in your way? If that's you, then I want to invite you personally to my free event. It's called Chi Life Mastery. Go to chilifemastery.com. One of the surefire ways to become stronger mentally is through meditation. So I'm going to share with you some Qigong meditation techniques that have passed down through thousands of years. And I'm also going to show you some technology that you can use to enhance your meditation as well. So make sure you don't miss it. Go to chilifemastery.com and I'll see you there. Number six on the list is that you look for solutions. You're not the person that just gets stuck and just gives up or just gets frustrated and stays in their emotions. You're someone who looks for solutions. You ask questions to yourself. What can I do to change the situation to my advantage? The opposite of this will be to make excuses or blame other people for problems. So make sure that you are always looking for solutions. You're asking good and effective questions to yourself and to the other people to find effective solutions. Number five on the list is that you're comfortable being alone. You actually enjoy solitude and doing things by yourself. You're not someone that always have to go out and get energy from people, maybe even suck energy from other people. You're someone who actually gives energy to other people because you are recharging yourself whenever you're alone. Number four is that you have self-control. You don't go off the wall. You don't go missing in action. You need to learn to control the negative emotions that you have in life. For example, depression, anxiety, fear. You need to learn how to control those things and identify them, name them when they appear so that you're aware that you're experiencing that emotion. So let's say that you feel scared or fear or anxiety. So ask yourself, where do you feel it? You feel it in your gut or you feel it in your body somewhere, right? Or you feel it in your head when you're stressed out, your head hurts. Being aware of that emotion and how it affects your body will help you to do something about it. You can do some qigong exercises, some breathing exercises to manage those emotions. Or you can start asking yourself questions to get yourself to start thinking more positively instead of negatively. Sign number three that you are mentally stronger than other people is that you have emotional clarity. What does that mean? It means that you are clear about what you are feeling. So if you feel frustrated or overwhelmed or feel you're lacking something or you feel depressed, you feel down, you need to have a specific word to describe what you're feeling. Because many times when people get asked, how do you feel? They say, oh, I'm okay or oh, I feel shitty, and that's all they know, right? And then a lot of times they say a whole bunch of swear words to add to that. 
and that's their whole vocabulary when it comes to their feelings. So knowing to identify what exactly feelings you are experiencing will help you to be clear about that feeling and knowing what to do about it. Number two sign that you're mentally stronger than other people is that you're optimistic. You look at the brighter side of things. You're not pessimistic, you're not always just looking at the negative side of things. You're looking at the positive side of things and you're able to evaluate both things, but you're generally optimistic. Instead of saying it's half empty, you're saying it's half full. Instead of thinking the door is half closed, you think it's half open. So it's all a matter of perspective. If you have the right mindset, if you have a good outlook, that will just change your mentality completely and make you a stronger person in general. Well then for watching this video all the way up to this point, this is the final sign that you're mentally stronger than other people. Here it is. You know that it's okay to be wrong. You admit it when you're wrong. We all make mistakes. And what a lot of people do is just try to cover it up, make excuses, or just avoid the subject. But when you do admit to your mistakes or to your weaknesses, then it just shows that you understand yourself and you're comfortable with yourself. And only people who are strong will admit that they're weak or show their weaker side. Whereas weak people always try to make themselves look stronger, talk louder, make bigger gestures, because inside they're actually very weak and insecure. People who are already mentally strong and confident, they don't need to do that. So they're willing to admit to their weaknesses and admit to their mistakes. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the like button. Make sure you comment below and let me know what else you want to learn on this channel. Until next time, use the chi and prosper.